So, that was the infamous Halloween, John Carpenter. So you can see where this is going today. In my last episode, I did touch a little bit on Halloween, but it was mostly about um, the uh, Texas Chainsaw series. So, uh, just b before I get into Halloween, let me just thank you. Uh, thanks to people for watching that last one. Uh, some of my last videos haven't been getting as many views, but uh, I figured we're going back to the core of my my love for the uh, horror genre. Would be would do the trick a little bit and. Uh, so let's delve into a little bit of Halloween. So Halloween 1978, the world is in, is introduced to Michael Myers, and uh, starts off with uh, well everybody knows starts off with uh, um, uh, Michael's sister and her boyfriend you know, having a little fornication and. You see Michael kind of, you don't see Michael per se, you see so the, the vision through his eyes, which I think is an ingenious move. And when, she, when he goes up to um, his sister's room, she lets out that, Michael! And you know, you, all you see is, pew, pew, pew. and we're introduced to little crazy Michael Myers we don't know why he's like that you know in the beginning we just you know we we hear about Dr. Loomis talking about um, all the years the a kid from Michael and, and what he saw was behind that boy was evil so you, 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 you kind of get a feel for Michael through Loomis and uh, the, the movie's ingenious, and you know we're also in, uh, introduced to Jamie Lee Curtis, and you know she she basically becomes the face of, ironically, the face, which is Michael's. They call him basically, and uh, so Laurie Strode uh, grows up as the uh, sibling, the other sibling of Michael. We don't find that out till part two, but so part one is very intense. Very part one is very thriller-like, and you know Michael's little games where you see him, then you don't, and the supporting cast with uh, uh, PJ Souls. Uh, who, by the way, PJ is one of my favorites. Love love PJ, um, and. Uh, I, I honestly think it became the standard bearer for what, what was going to be known as the, the slasher. Uh, you know, after that we got we got uh, Jason, and uh, I still don't consider Freddy a slasher. It's dream killer. I call Freddy, and neither Leather, even Leatherface really. I don't consider it as a slasher, but um, Halloween launches a whole bunch of slasher films after that. You know, everybody wants to get on the slasher. Big budget, low budget. Um, as each sequel goes by, you know, Halloween is still like the classic. It's that there, there is nothing like the original Halloween. Bar none. Let's let's get that straight right now. But as far as sequels go, Hall the Halloween two is still by far, I think the best uh, horror sequel there is. A lot of people say Friday 2. Friday 2, I love Friday 2, don't get me wrong, but I still think that the hospital setting is, is fantastic. And I hear people say that, you know, the, the tense level is even more in part two than part one. And the music, I can never say enough about the, the music. The music is like a, uh, another actor in the movie because every time you hear that ding 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 you know Michael's around and so like I said it's, it, 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 it brings your attention like if you if you're not even paying attention once you hear that music you're like what's gonna happen so part two is 
almost on the level of part one. Let's get that straight right now. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, the evil stepchild of the series, the redheaded stepchild, if you will. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, I personally love. I think it was a nice escape. Do I think they should have used the Halloween tagline? Maybe not, but a lot of people, hey, okay, I'm, I'm going to get really intricate here. Halloween 3 does have Michael Myers in it. You say, where? Remember when Dr. Chalice is in the bar and they're playing the on the TV the advertisement for the classic Halloween and you see Michael coming down the stairs. <laughs> gotcha. He was in it. So he wasn't part of the storyline. But I'm going to get back to Halloween 3 in a second. Halloween 4. The Return of Michael Myers. I'm still convinced, by the way, that the security guard at the insane asylum is Dave Z. Dave Z, if you're watching this, that has to be you. Jesus ain't got nothing to do with this place. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't know Dave Z, great guy. Um, one of the probably one of the leading podcasters there, there are. Sorry, Alex. Yeah, I mean, you're Alex. You're up there too. Don't get me wrong, but Dave Z. Hey yo. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that has to be Dave Z. Um, I know a lot of people are critical of Halloween for the mask. Um, it's a little paint by numbers, you know, a little predictable. But you can't deny that. Daniel Harris is great in it. Um, Ellie Cornell, terrific. A great cast. Um, and of course, Donald Pleasance, back for the ride again. Donald Pleasance, I'm going to put it right out there right now. Donald Pleasance is Halloween. A lot of people say, no, 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 Jamie Lee Donald Pleasance kept that series going for five movies. He wasn't in three. For five movies. Even up till when we talk when we talk about Halloween six, so Halloween five, the Revenge of Michael Myers. I thought this was an interesting play, uh, having Daniel Harris, basically not not mind control, but the, having the feelings of what Michael's feeling and knowing what Michael's doing. I thought that was a clever, and I think it's Daniel Harris's better acting. One is a little. Inexperienced. I mean, she's she's entertaining and all, but part five, she has to be. She's basically playing like a mute that's been traumatized, and after killing her, or trying to kill her uh, stepmom, um, I think she does. He, she plays the role great. Um, but Halloween Five does have its its moments where you're like, what are they doing here? And you see the, the guy come up the bus later on the movie, and and that leads into Halloween 6. Halloween 6. Basically, they should have just called this Thorn. <laughs> but it's the, uh, the curse of Michael Myers. And now, I am a huge fan of part 6. I think part 4 and 5 were good. They were entertaining enough to watch. But they are not my favorites. Part six is after part one and two. Six is my my favorite. Um, it's also Dr. Loomis's uh, uh, farewell. Dr. Loomis, uh, played by the, the great Donald Pleasance, uh, struggled to make that movie, but he, in typical Donald Pleasance fashion, he 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 pursued on, and you know they gave him a. A subdued ending to him, to his character. I thought I, I wish they could have done a little bit more to kind of honor him. Um, not by killing Michael. I mean, I I think eventually Loomis knew that Michael was going to kill him. I think they should have gave him a glorified death. Um, then we come to Halloween H two O. 
Some people like this one, some people don't. I'm in the middle. I don't like the fact that they, this was the first movie to erase everything since 2. So now we're coming on to different, different timelines and different above Michael. And this was supposed to be 20 years later and we, we get to see jo a young Josh Hartnett in it. And it, it, it has a good cast, but I think it's also a little paint by numbers and it does have a, a great ending though. Until we come to Halloween Resurrection when the kill at the end of H2O gets desecrated. I'm going to bring up something from um, Misery. When when uh, Annie Wilkes is talking about the chapter place and how she, uh, the guy went off the cliff and everybody, uh, you know, they were all sad. And the next week they showed the same thing and it was a complete ending how he got out. And are you, are you all on amnesia? He didn't get out of the cock a duty car. That's exactly what they did with Resurrection. They took a glory, a, a wonderful ending of H2O and desecrated it with a chapter play. That wasn't Michael. What? So you can see where this is going. Um, they kill off Laurie Strode for now. Um, and then it becomes a uh, survivor in a house with cameras and it, I don't know. It, they might as well just made that, like they might as well just had all the people from Jersey Shore on because it was that bad. Uh, I know there are Resurrection fans out there. I'm not one of them. I know a lot of people that are not one of them. So, yeah, let's just skip over that. Then we come to Rob Zombie's Halloween. Another new timeline. So now, Michael was born in a, a dirt home with a mom who's a, a stripper to make ends meet, a boyfriend who's a, a drunk and a, a pervert towards the sister and Michael killing uh, animals and the whole backstory. I, I thought the kid who played Michael Myers was great, Jake Farish. I thought, he, I thought the backstory was a little overplayed, but I didn't mind it. I didn't mind them giving us a backstory. Huh. Sorry about that. <coughs> so, fast forward to uh, Tyler Main, who plays uh, Big Michael. Intimidating as fuck. I mean, he's like the Godzilla of serial killers. <laughs> That boy, I mean, I, I will say Tyler played this role fantastic. And the cast that Zombie got fantastic. Everyone from um, Dan Danny Trejo to uh, uh, Sid Haig. And I mean, I, I could go on. I'm, I'm not getting them all right now, but you got you guys seeing the movie. Terrific movie. Um, I think the end is overplayed a little bit. Um, I didn't mind it at all, though. A lot of people were hit and miss with it. I, I didn't mind the... I, I went to see the remake at the theater, and I, I was pleased. I thought I paid a, little, a good little homage in some scenes. Which brings us to uh, H2. <coughs> H2 starts off promising. Hospital setting again. Uh, Octavio, uh, can never remember her last name, and Caroline Williams make appearances, which is cool. Um, and uh, it just all goes for me. It all goes south. 
I've tried to rewatch it after the ha the hospital scenes and white horses and I feel like I'm watching uh, Halloween meet meets Pink Floyd the wall um, I know there's a lot of fans up there that understand it I didn't really I didn't get the whole point uh, I think they could have ended it with the first Halloween uh, just killing me talking about Rob Zombie's Halloween and I'm yawning no it's so, uh, yeah, that's, of all the Halloweens, I think that one was my least favorite. Then we skip to Halloween 2018. Yet another timeline and some changes. New timeline means everything from, everything after the original doesn't happen. This is 40 years later now. Um... Jamie Lee Curtis is a badass chick who has her house basically like ready for Michael and uh, what considered where she was an H2O where she was more of the victim and she still had that victim mentality this time she basically says that she hopes that he gets up so she can kill him so she is this badass chick so she plays her role good and she's not Michael's sister anymore. I don't know whose idea this was to to change the dynamics of Michael. And then we have that knockoff Loomis who kills a person. I I'm not dissing it. I I, I liked 2018, but that's where I'll end. I liked it. I love the ending though. The ending was classic. And then we have two more movies coming out. Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. Um, honestly, I wish they came up with better titles. Halloween Kills, I don't mind. Halloween Ends, it better end with a, ta with a title like that. Uh, but of course, Friday the 13th did the final chapter and we know where that went. So. so that's my little recap of uh, the Halloween series. And, uh, oh, I said I was going to come back to three. So, on Halloween 2018, they paid, they, even though they eliminated everything from two on, they did bring the silver shamrock masks. Happy, happy Halloween, 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 happy, happy Halloween, Silver Shamrock. Who, who, okay, now I gotta play it. Anyways, who can resist that music? You may not like the movie, but the Silver Shamrock music is classic. Happy Halloween, Silver Shamrock. Happy, happy Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween, Silver Shamrock. It's almost time, kids. The clock is ticking. Be in front of your TV sets for the horror club. And remember the big Halloween nine. Don't miss it. And don't forget to wear your masks. The clock is ticking. It's almost time. Happy Halloween, Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween, Silver Shamrock. Happy, happy Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween, Silver Shamrock. They're trying to get me off. Please, for God's sake, please stop it. There's no more time. You've got to stop. Please stop it. Stop it now. Turn it off. Turn it off. Stop it. 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 Stop it.